Hi everyone, I'm Seymour, co-founder and the managing partner of Colors. Today is our guest is Mr. Etibar, data science instructor at College Bootcamp. Mr. Etibar, can you please introduce yourself? Um, hi Seymour, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for introducing me. So um, I'm Etibar, as you know, so um, I can speak about my actually background, like uh, educational background as well as like the work experience. So basically, um, I've studied actually some in interrelated fields. Then I decided to move to data science because I saw the perspective there. Like, like, uh, well, I studied firstly like administration in economics, then I just moved to data science, like which like my field was actually computation analytics. Basically, it's interdisciplinary field. So uh, when I, I when I used to work in banking sector, I decided to actually uh, change my field and just move actually to data science totally because I had some exposure to robotics process automation, and there I, I started seeing the influence of data. So. Um, then, yeah, of course, I studied like another two more years, you know, extra just like to learn it deeper, to be more qualified in this field. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much all about my background. But like regarding work, work experience, I can tell actually I used to work in different fields, uh, which include but not limited to banking sector, some manufacturing sector. And as of now, I am working as a data science instructor at Coders. Great. What is the importance of data science from your side? <laughs> I, I would say like there is so-called sentence, which is like, data is new oil so that's actually true uh, because like based on your data uh, like everyone can do anything because data science is just like is a field where you're just trying to put information and you are trying to get the knowledge from that so that's that's really important so meaning that like as long as you got the data you got the power data science is just a field where you are actually using different kind of skills uh, like computer science skills, like the coding part. You're also trying to use like statistics and math skills because it's just combination of that. You are basically trying to apply some statistical models, methods, uh, uh, mathematical models just by writing some codes. So this is just data science. But like if you're asking me some sample, I can give you one small sample. I, I guess everyone knows it and whoever using like the smartphones will know that. So there's face recognition, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're trying to use like phone to recognize your face. So this is just like for security purposes, right? So like when you are trying to open like uh, your iPhone, the iPhone is trying to match your face with their like uh, data set. So what's really happening if when you firstly try to start your phone, first you're trying to register your like image in, in iPhone. So when, whenever you are trying to open the phone, uh, like iPhone will try to match your current photo with the previous photo. Basically, this is data science, right? Because this is based on like the some, uh, let's say, predictions, like uh, your data, your image actually is actually data. So basically, it's based on uh, the or, or colors, which is like red, green, blue colors, so, so RB, RGB. So when you apply it in the data science, basically you are trying to get the numbers from the colors. And based on these numbers, there is some calculation happening behind that. So, so basically it's trying to figure out if it is you or not. So that's just one sample, right? Who should learn it? Okay, um, it's actually more about passion, you know. Uh, if you got like the passion about the field, I, I, I would really urge you to go and start like learning it. Of course, there's gonna be like some difficulties, uh, meaning like you might have some problems like writing the code, you will have some errors, you will have some mistakes, but in the end, you are trying to learn something, right? So basically it might be difficult for you, but like as long as you are passionate about that, you can really go for it. So at, it, it requires some level of statistics knowledge, it requires some knowledge, like some level of uh, computer science knowledge like the coding some data structures so uh, this is just like some difficulties in the beginning but like as long as you put some work into that you can really do it so I guess everyone can do it there is no limit to that you know it's just about your passion could you please give the information about the data mining structures and manipulation? Um, data mining is, it looks like actually Minecraft, you know? Uh, I, I guess like some people uh, used to play like Minecraft. In Minecraft, you're trying to mine it, right? So it's almost the same, like, uh, let me tell you it this way. So let me rephrase it. It's by and large, you are trying to uh, put some information, you know? Uh, like your data and you are trying to apply some methodologies like uh, you know preparing the data set because you need to make sure that your the data set is good enough to be processed so that you can really get it so uh, basically data mining is trying to uh, like get some predictions like um, well 
basically uh, there are different kind of methodolog methodologies as I, I as I told you like so so you can use some different kind of techniques prepare the data set just put into the model and get the results so th there are different kind of models statistical models uh, that uh, you will try to basically um, use it so that like um, basically you are trying to get some predictions and uh, based on this you are trying to get the meaning because like at the end of the day like if you are working at some company company will try to like solve some business question right so they are giving you some business question and based on this business question you will try to use different kind of skills to make it happen so uh, there are different kind of fields right now the like the huge part I would say that like uh, there is a like NLP part which is natural language processing there is computer vision which is like trying to detect some objects like let's say um, like the cameras is trying to figure out if it is like a human or if it is like some animal or if it is like some car or something else. So this is like also part of the data science or if you are applying in the banking sector, banking sector is trying to figure out how much the uh, stock price will increase. So this is also part of it, right? So depending on the field, you can apply different kind of ways. And uh, so um, this is like basically data science and uh, like when it comes to uh, methodologies there are different kind of methodologies i can actually uh, give some samples but like this is more about like theory theoretical part i would say but like in a sense it's still artificial intelligence it's still part of the artificial intelligence just i can give you one another sample so um let's say like there's a tesla right so when like tesla is autonomous car so when it's actually moving on the road, it's trying to figure out what's around, like around the car. So the car will try to use some sensors, will get the data set, and after getting the data set, they can use some different kind of specific algorithms. So I can give you just one sample, which is like KNN. It's called Key Neighbors, uh, KNN Neighbors. So this algorithm is basically trying to figure out the distance between the object and your car. So based on this distance, based on this calculation, it can basically um, just like do some maneuvers. It can just like move to the right, left. So this is just one sample, right? So the Tesla is just like the smart car. That's why I just gave yeah. you this. this uh. Yeah, if I'm looking from the business side, uh, in the 19th century, most of the manufacturers are dramatically increased on that years. And we, all the countries are starting to extend their manufacturing and in the modern country they are just looking for the technology and right. even in the tesla is selling the technology rather than the raw materials right so like well like of course there is some price of the raw materials but like what makes it expensive is just technology behind that yeah. it's like <laughs> the the mind behind that because like it's smart right because they are using different kind of things like technology so to make it happen so like um, there are tons of things i can actually bring as a sample like let's say you have the mac and you are trying to activate Siri, right? Yeah. This is called voice recognition. So based on your voice, like the com computer is trying to get your data and trying to figure out if it is the person. So as long as you are the owner, you will be able to open it because you just started the computer, right? Unless someone knows your password, that's a different case. I can't really like <laughs> promise that, but like it's more about like your voice rather than like, you know, your voice, your photo uh, or like the data that belongs to you. Uh, like, yeah, this is just for security purposes. That makes like our life better. So data science in general, like uh, is just trying to figure out whether it can be helpful for human or not. So like, it's also like artificial intelligence, as I told you, so yeah. Really, yeah, I depend on that company, the Apple company, because they right. owed all the information from me, even my fingerprint and right. the voice and the face, and yeah. all my bank accounts are linked to that right. companies. Right. So, right. Yeah, that's why if I'm just thinking about the politically, it's also a much more crucial point. Right. On that time, the, for mm -hmm. example, in the early years, for example, before the centuries, right. I mean, all the countries are trying to occupy the some territories on, on that time they're right. just measuring with the number of the soldiers and the weapons for right. example but yeah. right now everything is the technology that's why the cyber security is increasing and there has a huge demand for that right right all the things is protecting the data right exactly so like the 
security side is the thing. So like the company is trying to put much emphasis on the security part of their data because as I told you, it's like really valuable thing. So no one would really like to lose it. So you're trying to protect it as much as possible. So they are just like, there's like cyber security perspective. There's also the other perspectives I can tell, but like, yeah, exactly. Uh, like in general, so the companies are trying to protect it as much as possible because this is something they'll be using. They'll get some something, you know, like the company can increase their ROE, like return on investment by, by utilizing uh, like the data. So in order to utilize it, you need to have skills, which is coming from data science. Most of the, in which fields are implementing the data science okay. methods more than the usual? More than usual. Okay, so there are some like specific fields already actually improved like data science skills like in general. So uh, I, I can tell you like for instance banking sector or IT sector uh, or like uh, this this sectors already like uh, you know figure already know like how to figure out how to implement basically data science. But there are some fields I can give you that uh, health sector, for instance, or bioinformatics or something related to biology uh, field. This these fields are trying to uh, use actual data science. Um, it's not as improved as like let's say in IT or in banking sector. So that's why these these fields are trying to put much like uh, you know emphasize on that so uh, that's 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 the part I can tell but like basically almost in every field you can use the data set so data so as long as you got the data from like the field you can basically uh, gain some like knowledge from that so this can be like agriculture for instance probably have seen like some um, like specific like equipments they are using to uh, like you know to grow some plants so this can be like one field or we can tell like let's say the computer uh, computer vision which is like trying to detect the objects like uh, if some like let's say you are just going to the company and you are trying to uh, just like make make sure that the company knows that you are here so firstly what you do is just like you are registering based on your face you are just like entering there is like the specific like equipment that trying to figure out that you are here so uh, after like you register the company knows that you are the person or if you are trying to enter to some specific places in this case yes you will also need to such such kind of security or like talking about like the military you know there are some UAVs which is also using like basically uh, like object detection or um, if it is about like uh, some text data in this case there's natural language processing which is also part of data science basically uh, you are trying to uh, just use the text data just to get some predictions to different kind of things like let's say just one sample I can give you like Google you are trying to uh, find something on the Google right you're just typing the words and based on the words the Google gives you some recommendations yeah. right <laughs> this is text data actually you know they are using some specific algorithms for that of course like the CEO started like uh, some specific um, uh, algorithm which is like page rank they started with that then they just started like moving to the uh, other direction now it's actually almost in the perfect version you know you can find almost anything yeah on the recent years when i just typed the sentences in fully right yeah mostly um, while typing half of the sentences it right. knows that what kind of questions i'm gonna asking them right exactly yeah yeah, yeah. because it might be something that uh, because it's based on the frequencies at some point right so the camp like the, the the system already knows that like uh, lots of people ask this, such kind of question so it it will give you some some recommendations that maybe you're asking this kind of question or you're asking this word or you are asking this like music, you know, there's yeah. Shazam, you know, Shazam is also like based on your like voice. You don't know the words of the song, but like you keep saying it like at some point and the, the let's say Google or Shazam, like figuring out that uh, this is actually the song you are looking for. Yeah, it's also good for the user satisfaction side because mm -hmm. for example, if you want to go to buy the something from the grocery store, even for example the bread and the chewing gum, and the next day you're just going and wants to buy the same things on that time, if the seller is, gives you or the prefers you, do you want to take the same thing? Did you got them before? Right. On that time you're just feeling much more unique. 
for that time, and yeah, already the sellers know that what I want to get from there, right. they're just feeling much more better than before. And yeah. maybe the, that that's the same mind. The same yeah. thing is all the data are the collecting in the ones one how to say database. Uh -huh. So they're just preferring the same thing. Maybe they just, first of all they're just grabbing them. And after that, they're just showing them and you're just feeling much more satisfaction. But exactly. mainly they're just taking the information from you and preferring to you the same exactly. thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like, yeah, that's that's a part of the technology, you know, it's supposed to make your life, you know, easy. So you don't really have to struggle much as long as it like makes your life easy. That's actually the success of the technology and success of like the science, I would say. Right. So, yeah, uh, that, that's that's the main part. So if you happen to like contribute in this field, that's also another satisfaction, you know. If you just join the data science and start figuring out things like uh, like helping some companies to contribute to the chaos, so that's also another part. So you feel like, well, I am just part of the big picture because you contributed, right? So like that's why I'm just like saying that whoever is passionate about this field would really go for that. Yeah. yeah. I asked my all questions from you and thank right. you for your time, Mr. Itbar. I really appreciate it. Thanks for inviting. Yeah.